Good time zones, everybody, and welcome to Friday. We've made it. Um, greetings, Tor and Landstrad, and uh, feel free to underline in red anything that's uh, got a typo in it, Tor, and send it back. Uh, it will be filed in the small uh filing cabinet that is nice round low profile and stored next to my desk uh also no uh comes in uh recycling format as well um <laughs> uh yeah i bleh. nah uh i hope everyone is well we find me currently in uh in lag city um because, to be honest, I have no idea what I plan on doing today. And so the first thing I plan on doing is attempting to 
find if I have any coral fans left. Because there are things afoot that I have been planning. Well, that's not a barrel or a chest. That's a log. That's not going to help. Uh, there, there are things in the near future that I have been pondering, planning, and uh, thinking about doing. But, of course, I, I, I was looking over the required items list, which is like a page and a half long, and so fantastic, lovely thing to work with there. Um, and it's like, yes, you need this, and this, and this, and this, and this, and two coral fans. And I'm like, oh. Uh, two coral fans. I don't think I have any coral fans. I know I have had, in the past, a couple of coral... No, I'm not going to find any in there. A uh, couple of coral fans. Ooh, four slime balls. I was looking for those earlier. But I don't know where I had them. Okay, so we've checked all of the... Uh, all of those, and all of those. No, that's not gonna... No, no, no. Can't open that, there's a cat sat on it. Okay, nothing in those. I don't... I seriously don't think I have coral fans. Which is interesting, because I'm sure I must have had some. The, re the reason I'm fairly sure I had some is... I'm... I, I'm sure I had some in the kitchen up here. One of those, like, what? Kitchen? It's been so long since we've been back in this region of the city. Many, many chickens have escaped into the city. Yes, two coral fans. Which are, of course, on top of waterlogged blocks, which is why they're still coral fans. So, where did those come from? Where did they come from? Where did they go? Where did they come from? Carl Van Jo. No, um... <laughs> I, I, nah. This place is a maze. Okay, so I don't appear to have any more coral fans. So I think part of today is now going to become uh, an exploratory mission. Oh hey, it's all three of my deaths. Um, don't suppose... Nope, I'm not going in there. I don't want to go in there. Snake Pliskin. Um, <laughs> not entirely sure why, I, why, why Snake Pliskin, but oh hey, uh, I appear to have a lot of horse armor. Maybe there's been some horsing around, but um, tish. Nothing up here. Remember, kids, this is why you centralize your storage, uh, which I appear to have done. Alright. So the question is, where on Earth, or at least where in Minecraft, uh, did I have a convenient tame... tame? Did, did, I, did I encounter a reasonably local uh, set of coral? Hmm. 
freaking are. I have any clue. This place looks ridiculous. <laughs> it just really does. Um, it would have been under... Nah. Hmm. Yep. No clue. I'm lost. I'm lost. Right, rather than spending the entirety of stream attempting to find two pieces of coral, I think I need to find another job. <laughs> or at least another activity. Because I think if I spend the entirety of stream trying to find two pieces of coral, you're all going to uh, probably wander off and think I'm crazy. Or at least... You're all going to wander off. Um... No, nope. no, nope. that was that was the last of the places I could have thought of. Uh, and for those wondering, I had already checked my inventory. <laughs> um, ooh, there is one last place to check. I think IKEA has a coral box. Uh, question is, which one is it? Hmm, I thought it was one of those. Oh. Well, I have a coral box. It's full of cor uh, cor cor coral... Coral blocks. Hmm. Uh, are those the ones that sting at you? Question. Can you grow fans? Uh, Google, can you find Bermil blah warm oceans has a chance of growing coral fans. Does not work in bone right. Bone meal in a warm ocean. Yes. I, I had just found exactly the same thing, Raven. So, what I'm going to do is uh, take a small pile of this and let's go and find a small... Uh, let's go and get some sleep. Eh, I can get back to the city. Get some bone meal. Back to lurking. <laughs> okay. Have a good look, Raven. Uh, let's go back to the city, grab some bone meal, and I'm fairly sure that just over the horizon in the city, um, we have a warm ocean. What we don't have in that warm ocean is coral, which is why I've just picked up some. So, that should... Hey, Wally! Welcome in, and have a good look. Uh, yes, that is warm ocean. It's warm ocean that doesn't have anything resembling coral in it, but we can uh, we can solve that by adding our own. At which point we can set up a coral farm. I appear to have a lot of moss. Oh yes, that was because I ran the moss farm the other day and decided, you know, it's probably worth getting a decent amount of it. Oh. Hail Hydrate! Thank you, Wally. <sighs> Remember, kids, drink well. Uh, let's see. We might have... Yeah, we, we might have... One, two, three, four, five. Right, let's get uh, five stacks of bone meal to go with five colours of coral. And see what we can get out of this. I have a silk touch pickaxe. I have a pile of coral. I have a pile of uh, bone meal. 
and I have absolutely no clue what we're doing. No, wait, I actually have an idea. Let's change. This looks like warm motion. Fairly sure of it. Yeah, I'd say that's warm motion. Right. This block looks convenient. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two. Yeah. Two, three. One, two, three. Hey, Squishy. So, what have we have? What have we discovered? We have discovered that it grows seagrass. We're gonna have to be careful with this, aren't we? I'm going to have to clear everything, every single time. Let's just double check. We are in uh, war motion, yes. Oh, we're in lukewarm motion. I am attempting to get uh, coral fans squishy. And I've just realized this isn't going to work. This is lukewarm motion. I need war motion. What the heck's that? Oh, it's just sand. Uh, I don't know about deeper. Why is it that I can't work out how to actually uh, start flying? <laughs> if I make sure that only the side of a block is visible, viable, I only get fans. Ah. But the problem is, it does say warm ocean, and these are lukewarm, and I think that might be a, a problem. Let's let's try the whole uh, side of a block element first, though. Uh, we have a convenient side of a cliff here. Let's. One, two, three. I'm not seeing anything. This isn't looking promising. No, I, I, I think we have... The, the wrong biome. Right, quick. Give me a piece of land to stand on so that I can fly away. Any problems. The fact that I'm apparently not getting it. Yes, must be war motion. Dang it. Uh, right. Oh, that's not a good sign. <laughs> Minecraft. 
Minecraft, how far are you having to search? I found a warm ocean. Um, that's um, that's that's not local. That's that's very much not local. Ah. <laughs> uh, um. Hey, Cyber. That many. <laughs> right then. That 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 stuffs up that idea as well. Go, go, Scottish Airways. Uh, Scottish Airways is currently at 252. I'm not entirely convinced it would actually survive for the uh, for the journey, let alone um, the attempt to retrieve stuff. One of these actually had... I need to uh, consolidate two shulkers because there's. Yeah, that's what I thought. I have coral in uh, spread across two different shulkers for some reason. Now I could cheat. I could cheat because due to being a server I have the ability to click on the button that says teleport but of course I'm not entirely convinced that teleport is a sensible thing to do so yeah right okay so plan A and plan B are now officially off the list of things to do for the day <laughs> I just want to double check some. No. None of these have. Yeah. Wasn't there a coral reef near the dig site? There was. But I don't think we set up even a. Um, I don't even think we set up anything near to the dig site. I think we had to fly there. Which uh, would not be the most useful of uh, tasks, I suspect. But no. Let's have a quick trip over to something that I was having a think about. <coughs> what, it's 15 minutes to do 6,000 blocks of journey? Interesting. Uh, the problem is, I suspect, given the way that Minecraft is currently reacting, that uh, if I were to uh, attempt to travel that far, it might start doing weird things. Now, I think that'll probably be a weekend task, but what I will do is find a map. About five by the nether roof, inclusive of building portals. Now, that, however, might actually be a more sensible task. Uh, what I'm attempting to find is our uh, 
other future piece of build site. Which I appear to have lost. I'm lost. I, I think I took a left turn at Albuquerque. Well, that's on fire. You ever get that feeling that I might have just made a, a, a hideous mistake? <laughs> Today on, where in the world is Scots? I've never been to the Nether Roof. Um, for the sole and simple reason that it generally requires you to do things... Uh, involving uh, TNT pistons and managing to futz around uh, with uh, timing such that it breaks through bedrock. This has to be probably the least safe bell in history. I've been through this village and stolen everything. Apparently so. Um, yes. What was I thinking? I don't know. I, I've just flown off in a random direction in the world, <laughs> which was probably not the most sane of things to do. Um, you look familiar. Yes. Okay, I know where I am now. That's good. Ah, yes. That's how to get onto the nether roof. Sorry, I keep thinking... I, I was thinking about how to get out of the nether roof. <laughs> right, there should be another um, pillager outpost over here, if I'm where I think I am. If I'm not, I'm still lost. Nope, I'm still lost. That's interesting, because there aren't that many uh, pillager outposts in this section of the world. And that wasn't one of the three that I thought it was. You know, if I'd actually been aiming for where I was aiming for, I'd have been there by now. turning into probably the least successful moment in <laughs> in Minecraft. Well, at least the uh, server lag is causing this uh, rocket to become incredibly helpful. Playing Space Engineers, Automus and Drones have been bothering you. Turrets always. Oh, good. Now I know where I am. <laughs> yep, you're absolutely right there, Tor. Which is why I've just turned on the, uh, the IDs to. Okay, so we're at 1,700. 
We're aiming for 32.58. Hey, Frau K. I might as well. <sighs> Stay on how to get lost in Minecraft. Ah, something tells me I'm going to need another. Ah, I think what we will do is we will probably consider also setting up a, uh, a, a nether portal when we get there. Come fly with me as I get lost again. I don't know where I'm trying to go, but it's gonna be fun to get there in the end. <laughs> Power is expensive or delicate? Pick one, yes. Well, at least we keep flying past ruined nether portals. Always helpful. Ah! <laughs> I love how Minecraft just glitched me backwards just as I successfully managed to set off a firework and instead of being aimed upwards I was suddenly aimed at the ground. I was about to actually, you know, fire myself into, into the ground <laughs> with a firework there. That would have been, um, how should we put this? Embarrassing. Is that snow? Yes. Okay. Possibly lethal. Yes. Uh, because I am not playing just cause, therefore firing myself at accelerated rates into the ground does not cause me to land better. Some lovely landscape around here. as long as I don't uh, embed myself into it. <laughs> One, two, three, or four, Cyber. There have been far too many iterations of that game. Oh, it will probably be needed, Tor. Uh, if nothing else, I'm getting very close to uh, needing to swap out my elytra at this rate. Where are we? Okay, 58. War motion! And guess what? It actually has coral here. <laughs> Good news! I don't need bone meal. Really good news. I've got what I came here for. Two coral fans. Two coral fans and a load of random stuff. What's that? Apparently the cult of the eye have been here. <laughs> Why do I need Carl? 
Um, because I'm in need of coral fans. Uh, I am thinking of setting up a project in the next couple of weeks, uh, which happens to need coral fans. Two of them. I had everything else I needed. Just not the coral fans. Uh, I also don't really need kelp. Bonus points for those who can who've already guessed exactly what you need coral fans for. It's a very common mechanic. Project Coral Fans TNT Duper. Absolutely tall. Spot on. There is a TNT Duper in my future. Gonna turn into a dirty, dirty duper. What the heck is that? Oh, it's just a coral fan. No, it's not. What is that? Is that a fish? Yes, it is. Okay. <laughs> uh oh, that's a that's a that's a blowfish. <sighs> yes, uh, duper, TNT duping tends to rely on coral fans. Right, uh, I now have a decent supply of coral fans. So I've got fire coral, fire coral fans, brain coral, brain coral fans, bubble coral fans, horn coral fans, horn coral, tube coral fans. Let's get a little bit of everything while we're here. So glad I remembered to bring a uh, silk touch pickaxe with me. Right, bubble coral, rain coral, tube coral, horn coral, fire coral, horn coral. Okay, so I need whatever the bubble coral top, uh, whatever the bubble coral is. Are you bubble coral? Yes, there we are, bubble coral. I'm like, why, why have I not been able to find any bubble coral? Right. Are we at full set? Yes, that's everything. Even if I've only got one tube coral. There's got to be more of those around here. Ah, right, there's one. There's another one. Where's the yellow one? Come back here. How am I supposed to destroy this ecology if uh, you keep flying away? 
And by destroy, I mean collect. Honest, Gov. Fortunately, I'm actually only collecting the, f uh, the fans and the corals. I can always grow more of these. Apparently. Oh yeah, there's one. Okay, so that's actually pretty, uh, pretty good at growing uh, corals. That's good to know. It's a shame that Minecraft doesn't have a mechanic for being able to actually combine the corals into coral blocks or something like that. But hey, I guess they're attempting to keep everything as uh, evil as possible. Well, that was sensible. Well done, Scott. Right. Uh, yeah. You know what? Since we've apparently marked this spot as being a location, let's uh, let, let let's continue the mark uh, the fact that this spot has been marked. Hey, Henwolf. I'm afraid this is a uh, solo server, so uh, it, it you can happily join and uh, enjoy watching the building as soon as we head back to somewhere where I am building. Uh, but uh, yeah, it's just me. That away. And that. And we will open this chest and find my golden boots and my flint and steel. Uh, flint and steel. Thank you. To the nether we go. Let's see if we can find our way home. Where the heck are we? Also, which direction am I facing? West. North. I need to be facing south. Why does this feel like a bad idea? I'm trying to remember what roof height is in uh, the nether, and I seem to think it's quite high. <laughs> hey, TGM. 128. Okay, so we're still a bit low. This has to be the most enclosed warped forest I have ever seen. I mean, how can this be a warped forest? Sorry, Crimson Forest. Minecraft, how did how did you generate a one block tall forest? <laughs> Today on 
Minecraft, go home, you're drunk. Yeah. to dig out it uh, horizontally. Hell yeah. As all. As always, the nether attempts to kill me. I am actually deliberately looking for bedrock here. There we are. That's good. Right. Uh, so if I'm aiming for somewhere in the 1000 by one by 1200 range, uh, divide that by 8. This looks suspicious. This looks suspiciously like somewhere I've been. No, that's not what I wanted to do. Uh, there was a, there, there, there is a reason why I'm working at almost uh, the roof of the nether tour. Uh, it tends to be a little bit less likely to generate things like lava. Not much. Just a little. And wait as it decides to prove me wrong by generating a bit. Uh, I think this is less my past self and more my future self. Um... I have a sneaking suspicion I know where I am. Also, which direction am I facing? West. Yes. I have a very strong sneaking suspicion that this is um, my future self. Let me turn on uh, shaders so it's easier to see what I'm looking at. Here we are. Yeah, this is bedrock level. Uh, in, my ca in this instance, bedrock at the ceiling. It is very red, isn't it, TGM? What is moving up ahead? Oh. Uh, would you would you would you mind dying? Look, I, I I asked nicely. Would you mind dying? Thank you. Hmm. Yeah. We we have another portal here. At minus 586, minus 746. I can think of only one thing this might be. But let's go and have a look. I'm curious. Loading terrain. I trimmed the world. I trimmed the world. This area of terrain doesn't exist anymore. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> I mean, yep. Yeah. Ah, uh, that was That would have been world gen causing it to time out, I think. 
Yep. Oh, wow. Uh, we. Help. <laughs> Help. I broke it. Ah, <laughs> uh, broke it. Yikes. I just got out of bed straight into another portal. That's <laughs> Okay, yes. Uh, Minecraft. Minecraft, are you drunk? <laughs> I think Minecraft is drunk. Please tell me this takes me back to the nether. Uh-oh. Uh... That shouldn't happening. Uh-oh. Whew. Okay. Train of thought, not a good move. Uh, okay, so that takes me out to the lovely area that we encountered in the world, which happens to have the mangrove swamp that we very first attempted to find when we first went looking for a mangrove swamp. <laughs> Uh, I believe the answer to that is cyber. I I, I believe we're at the uh, find out phase of the, uh, the the world map. Now the thing is, I'm fairly sure that there's something else that I was digging this uh, this path for. Uh, but most specifically, the answer to the was cyber. Um, I went through a nether portal to a section of the world that I had trimmed and because it attempted to... Am I still facing west? Yes. Uh, because there were no lo no chunks existing in that area it messed up the server by lagging it to death. And when the server lagged to death it... yeah. Hello. It got very confused. Uh, do not keep a bed in your in your uh, primary hand. I think. I think. This is probably highly highly dangerous. And so should probably be made a lot safer. Uh, the other reason for this path... A fortress, yes. That's not why we're here. Tempted to bring the cam account into the nether. Uh, I think. If I've got this right. Are we where I think I am? It's hard to say. Apparently not. Huh. 
Well, that's a shame. Uh, what I th where I thought we were was I thought we were over the top of a bastion. Let's turn on uh, Pretty's mode in the cam account as well. Aha! I spy with my sneaky eye something beginning with B. Just a few more blocks into the future. Um. There. Where am I? Okay. Okay, a few more chunks into the future. <laughs> um, but yes. Just a little bit further along, we have a full, untouched bastion. It's a bridge bastion. It's a treasure bastion. Yes, the Scotsman Cam has just made the uh, advancement. Those were the days. What does that one do? That is, enter a bastion remnant. Okay. This has a very important thing in this room. And it is not this. It is this. This is the reason why I've been looking for this bastion. This is a frog-like farm in Potentia. <laughs> These will also contain the netherite upgrade template. One of them will. Um, so eventually, eventually, the plan is to complete mining across to here and to work out whether or not we can actually d get down to that. Shall we see how far we can get? Now that we know that we're in the right direction. Ah, that's why everything was so bright. The torch in my offhand. <laughs> the other advantage is we're still near to the nether roof here, which is part of my ongoing future plans. I might need to depopulate the place a bit, yes. And by depopulate it, you mean um, murder everything that moves. And if you don't, I do. And then half slab the living heck out of it so that nothing can spawn. Fortunately, the the brutes will only uh, will only spawn once. Is it brutes? What what's the name for the? Uh, big ugly evil ones that basically want to murder your face. Yeah, brutes. Integrate a hive mind as a machine empire without purging all the pops. Good luck with that. close. Where are we? I have no idea where I am. 
the cam account says no in here. Here, as we watch Scotsman from the cam account, we discover the world is attempting to murder him again. Fortunately, I'm fairly sure that I'm still wearing my elytra. It's not in the best of condition, but it'll at least get me here. Uh, allow me to so suddenly uh, double tap if I were to jump by accident. And by jump, I mean fall. Oh boy. Ma Minecraft, I, I, I wish you had made it easier for me. Please. I'd, I'd like Minecraft to make life easier for me. I know it's not going to happen. I'm guessing we're going to pop out over the top of this shortly. We must be getting close. Cam account is... ooh, yep, okay. Uh, actually we're going to end up too high. to work out how to get down a bit. Preferably without getting murdered by something. if we can get down here safely. I'm making this a uh, one in two slope so that later I can possibly consider half slabbing this as a run away, run away path. Uh, no, we're way too high. We are way, 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 way too high. Unless... Well, no, no, that might actually work to my favour. It should possibly take me down to the... the, the secondary tower. this up. That's not what I wanted to pick up. Thank you. I can mine it as long as, uh, in Silk Touch as long as they don't pick it up and see that I've picked it up. Or mined it, rather. There it is. Target acquired. Hello, gentlemen. That's a lot of nope.
I don't think they're happy to see me. I mean, at the moment, they're probably not unhappy either. Uh, because I haven't done anything to actually upset them. Yet. But something tells me they're not going to be happy to see me. Brutes are always upset. Oh. I thought brutes were only only upset if you... Uh, oh, oh no, it's everything else that's upset if you open a chest. Brutes just don't like anyone, do they? I'm going to want to come back here with some boats, aren't I? Either that, or just spend some time with a bar and arrow, playing uh, pick them off one by one. Hello, sir. I was about to say, I might want to make it so that they can't, if one spawns behind me, they can't kill me either. Goodbye! Hello, I'd like to introduce you to F Death from Above. No, no, you're just a... Excuse me. Excuse me. Would you, would you mind coming back into shooty range? No. That's another one bites the dust. I don't think these seeds drop anything of value, do they? Other than, you know, golden, uh, golden swords and things like that. These guys are basically just here to be annoying. Hello, Bastion. Pleased to meet you. I have this sudden urge to run away. I don't know why. Could be because this wasn't actually on... Well, I didn't actually have a plan for today. But this was definitely not it. Guess what? Apparently I've walked into a bastion. Whoops. Uh, I was hoping not to completely mine my way in. Hello, stairs. Uh, ah, to heck with it. Right, now we know where that place is. <laughs> uh, I think at this point, uh, I'm going to choose the common sense option.
<sighs> no. Brave the Scotsman, he runs away. Yes. That said, pork shop power. Hello, sir. Never underestimate the power of the kebab stick. Kebab stick, kebab stick will provide. Kebab stick will provide. <sighs> that that was that was what one and a half hearts left there. Um, no! Um, no, 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 no. That, that, that was, um, that was not on my plans. Run away! Huh. <sighs> Curious. What's my current heart rate? Ah, surprisingly, it's only marked as 73 according to my watch. <laughs> I'm sure it should be something like 150. Ah, run away, run away! Right. Well, now we know where the now we know where the bastion is. Uh, at a future point, we will turn that bastion into a frog-like farm. At a future point, that, fra that we will also uh, attempt to investigate the contents of that bastion. Today is not that point. <laughs> not after that move. <sighs> but the good news is, we now have a um, another portal for getting... To and from um, a, 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 a a coral reef. I have absolutely no markings for where it is, but well, I'm sure we'll find it at some point. Uh, ay, 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 ay. Um. Flee with extra flee. Let's, um, yeah. <sighs> that was, um, not, not, not. <laughs> I love the way that I'm, I was sort of dealing with the brutes in the bastion and then nearly got murdered by a flipping boar. Whatever the heck those things are called. Hoglin. Um, murderous tusk thing of murderous. Yeah. Now the nice thing is, this path should take me all the way back to uh, humanity. Or at least, something approximating it. How long is this path? Also, which area is it going to bring us out in? Ah, okay. This one. I know where I am now. Thank goodness for that. Oh, look! I appear to have been doing a bit of mining around here. Yeah, I, I, I think we are at about one and a half kilometers from home 
uh, going in that direction. No! Do not like you guys. Not happy. You are off my friend list. There. Uh, that's the one to the city. Somewhere around here should be the one to the caldera. Um, easier to spot. It's the one that looks a lot. Uh, looks very different and is part of my ongoing plans to uh, do something uh, by way of actual nether tunnels. There it is. The cult of the eye have a uh, an interesting building design. I really should actually, you know spend a bit of time working on this thing. <sighs> and hey, it's not even darkness. Let's go and say hi to Ook. Hey Ook. Oh, it's not darkness, but it is raining. Darkness has fallen. No. Nope. Well, it's not a thunderstorm, thankfully. Oh, and apparently it's also stopped raining. Woohoo! <sighs> right. Um, that was... Oh, yes. I keep forgetting. <laughs> a one chicken uh, power boat. Okay. Uh, we can put our polished blackstone bricks in here because those are useful. Now let's find the toolbox. Put away my golden boots of runaway. Why do I feel like all of those llamas are looking at me and judging? Um, probably because they are. Do I have crimson stems anywhere in here so that I can place some extras? No, fine. Uh, time for a Sorin chest. You, 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 you. Bits of crap. I'm going to hold on to the cooked pork chop. That's pork chop power. And the slime balls. I have a shulker with slime balls in it. There it is. Probably not the most sensible shulker with, sh with slime balls. Slime balls, even. Oh, oh no. no. Let's uh, bring that with me. Now, here, deep in the undergrowth, I need to decide where I am going to build something. So the, the, the reason for the whole sort of slight detour was this slot. This, this gap in this inventory. And now we have coral fans. Let's see. Let's use the bubble coral fans. Actually, no, let's, let's go with blue. Tube coral fans will be nice. That is the last of materials that is needed for something that is easier to spot if I look in the second chest. Yes, crimson nylium and warp nylium. These are the materials for 
a nether stem farm. Which also happens to have a TNT duper involved. I was trying to work out when I was going to build this. The answer is fairly soon. Uh, the problem is, however, where? Uh, and no, not in a bastion. Um, because that would just be strange. Particularly since I'm planning on building a frog light farm in that bastion and not um, a. Uh, a bad, 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 bad. Nether stem farm. So the question becomes, where the heck is Waldo? Um, under the caldera. Not that that area is. <laughs> um, I was pondering that. I was pondering that. If I was going to build it anywhere under the caldera, let's have a think. I mean, the caldera is a pretty huge space. <laughs> uh, the other advantage is building it local to here is good because uh, we have the bone meal farm. Uh, and this thing consumes bone meal. And by consumes, I mean literally. It burns through the stuff. Uh, I need to get to somewhere sensible. Uh, to put down this account for a second. Now what we could do is maybe put it on that side of the caldera. Close this door. All right. If I bring up the cam account. So, we have this area here, which is a much, much taller section of Caldera. And I think height is probably a good thing for this. So maybe somewhere, around, somewhere in this section would be a good area for it. At which point, since we've got the bone mill farm down here. We should probably keep it fairly close to that so that we can just grab materials and take them over. Um, so, perhaps this little river we could bring in, uh, we could have a natural fake cave. <laughs> natural fake cave. <laughs> Because, of course, uh... Oh, I forgot about this. This has the enormous cavern of Holy Heck under it. I will not be using this cavern as a construction site. Is that a geode? Yes, that is a geode. Cool. Um, right. Squirrel! Um, to the surface. So, yes, I think maybe we uh, consider building it in this area. You remember that, Geode, for some reason. Congratulations, I don't. So I'm thinking it might be nice to take part of this. Ooh. Interesting. Uh, and maybe build it in here. Have it as a... Ooh. Hmm? Could do. Maybe. Let me get some materials. I have an idea forming. 
world doomed. He has an idea for me. Uh, first things first, let's empty my inventory of stuff that I don't need. Like that lot. Opened up by what seems like a rusty wall and the stone collapsed in. I was thinking of going the other direction. Um, oh, wrong one. After all, don't forget we have uh, the incredibly steampunk area below the city. I was thinking of going for ancient steampunk um, hidden behind uh, a wall. I mean, we have... If I head downwards... Where is it? We, we have all of this ancient city with hugely futuristic uh, areas underneath it. Maybe go for something like this as the uh, styling around it. Just without the crystal uh, attempting to take it over. So I was thinking maybe something like this as um, an entrance wall. So we've got this uh, we've got this river coming in. So maybe if we had let's see. Um, have I done this? Oh yeah, okay. Uh, where's a shulker? I need a shulker. I need a specific shulker. That one. Which happens to have this in it. Really? I only wanted one. Thank you. Uh, so that I can get some walls as well. So it would be wall, 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 wall. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yes. Uh, then it would be wall, wall, wall. We can probably have it so that this one's collapsed a little bit. Really? 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 Well, there goes that idea. Um. <laughs> oh, let's um, let's shift this by a couple. Uh, actually, let's take it back by two. Put that torch back because I think that was a load bearing torch yeah it was um, so if we do that 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 and that right let's um, so what I'm thinking is uh, Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade. Um, I can't remember the name of the uh, that that sort of um, huge 
building encased in a cliffside that uh, is really, really well known. And my brain just can't focus on the name right now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, here. Petra. Yes. I'm thinking have something like Petra as an entrance to an ancient, ancient um, sort of, and yet really, really high tech um, area, which is where we have this um, the, 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 this technology. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, here. Hey, if if you learn it from Civ, that's not a bad thing. We could have it sort of stretching upwards here. And I'm wondering if I'm being a bit too big with my design here. Yeah, I think I am. No, then again. Can I get a fourth pillar in or should I shrink this? I'd like to get three doorways. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. No, I'm going to have to make this fives. So if I make it fives. with this. I think I can work with this. One, two, three, four, five. Here, here, here. There. Did I manage to have a... Yeah, I did. Excellent. So then we just uh, have solid stone in this area. And by solid I mean um, entirely not. Uh, I need to sleep because apparently it's getting dark. So this one so what we do is we have a set of three pillars, uh, three entrance ways, and then we bring it back a bit. So these two become pillars, and then we do another one, two, three, four, five here. I think is that one, two, three, four, five. No, it's here. This one becomes the, the actual door. Um, five. And then we can Interesting. That almost, almost is an interesting shape that I can work with. And actually, I think it is. It's interesting. If I were to move it forward by one, it would actually link up here and here. But I don't want it to be forward by one. How do I make this... make it four. That 
that works. That I can that I can work with. Let's get myself another stack of stone brick walls. Because then we can put one here and one there. And maybe one there and there. Yes, that I can do something with. So it was one, two, three, four. One, two, one, one, two, one, two, four. And then we have walls on all the main junction points. Okay. At which point we can have that come upwards and it can almost be well, actually, it's easier to see on the camera count because it's got the height. That can be the entrance to it. And I know, as usual, this is ridiculously huge and entirely out of... Um, uh, entirely into the definition of scope creep. Um, I don't care. Scope creep is what I do. Uh, one, two, th so there, one, two, th three, here, yeah, no, 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 come back, there, and yes, that gives us an entrance way. So that can be a nice entrance way. And then, this area, which is conveniently large and flat... Safe to say that Skirts has successfully scope creep, scope creep. Yep. <laughs> I'm impressed that uh, Automod didn't like that. Uh, I'm sure it came up with a very good reason for it, but hey. Um, yes, I think as an entrance way, that could be really quite fun, having that carved into the solid stone almost. Creep. Yeah, I think it was down as bullying for the word creep. And so we can do nice... No, it was creep. I'm fairly sure it was. So we can do some nice sort of um, stone artifact uh, work into some of these alcoves. And we've got these pillars here. I need to work out... So I roughly know what the size of the um, hey, Chris. Uh, I roughly know the size of the um, the uh, what's the word I'm looking for? <laughs> the, the 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 illegal farm. Yeah, let's go with that. Um, so let's work out. We got the midpoint. One, two, three, four, five, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yep. And then it's uh, 15 by 15. Two, three, four, five. 15, six, se seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Have I counted that right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Derp, 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 derp. 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. So the actual illegal farm, he says, despite the fact that it's not illegal and he's going to actually do it, is that big. Just as well we've got this huge underground space that isn't underground to build into. Um, hmm. Any <laughs> oh, God. Um, what I'm thinking is I might actually have it so that it's inset into this a bit. So say... If we were to take it down by, say, four blocks... Yeah, and then have curving uh, stairs down either side of it. To the found earth. Haunted and inhabited by semi-intelligent cockroaches. Oh! Lovely! side of that. Where's my shovel? Four, five. Um... It has a lot of uh, lore, but not a specific story. It has many storylines that will uh, appear depending on uh, area of the world, of uh, the galaxy that tends to have generated. So, you, uh, for example, it has uh, th there's at least one storyline which is basically giant machine world that is dead. I seem to remember. Too deep. One, two, three, four, five. Actually, what I'd like now. I don't want to have this go downwards too quickly, so what I'm going to do is have. Huh? No. like that and then we'll go three so we're at three depth I'd like to go to four depth so that would bring us down to there and that actually brings us most of the way around this so yeah I can I think we can do something with this. And then we open this up as a 
corner. So if this is a 5 by 5 I need something to start indicating corners and shape. Uh, you'll do. why things aren't lining up, because these need to go one to the left. What shall be was, and what was shall be, yes. And actually what I might do is stick that like that. something like that. That'll give me some options. So, one, two, three, four, five. Corner. Corner. One, two, three. That was a hole for a minute, not coal. <laughs> time is relative. Lunchtime doubly so. Gravity is desire. I desire gravity. I do not recognize the, gra the gravity of this conversation. Uh, yeah. Why do I still have um, the coral in my inventory? Stone. Uh, yes. So uh, you need to become stone. Just for the moment. Uh, just for the walls. Corner. Yes. So that gets us down. That gets us down to three. Have I got a further block lower than? Oh, I've got two stairs on this side. Uh, I only have one on this side so far. That is my end point for the stairwell. Yeah, and then we can have... So we have the corridor in. It comes to a point where you can switch on the machine. And then you go round the machine down to the collection point where the uh, the exploded stuff comes out and so this point is also where you feed in your bone meal so it's bone meal and we can probably make this look like a statue and you uh, oh that would be awesome yes have a statue where you um, give the bone meal to it as an offering and then as a, it, it, it's a sort of um, yeah that could be quite a fun sort of um, conceptual mechanic sort of high tech made to look like uh, ancient civilization type thing simultaneously 
Uh, I'm trying to think of uh, a situation where that overlaps because there's been a sort of Congratulations, I've just invented the Gwawuld. Um... No! <laughs> um... That, 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 that's where this is going, though, isn't it? Um... Super high-tech masquerading as ancient civilization. So, uh... Am I just about to build a Goa'uld nether stem farm? Um. I think my brain just segmentation faulted at the concept. It's either that, or um, I'm going to have to invoke Thor. Figure out how to build a grey. Um. So, the Gordons? <laughs> I understand him. He's talking about um, uh, people like Tilk. Jafar, yes. Jafar, Cree. Uh, why do I have a feeling that Jafar, Scots, yes, Jafar, biscuits, yes. <laughs> oh, why do I have a feeling that next week is going to be um, ridiculous building, um, where we start the week with the uh, Tuesday is probably going to be where we build the actual farm itself. Wednesday will be uh, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday will be how we actually build out the farm. Or rather, decorate the living heck out of it. I just need to make sure that I've got my dimensions right before we start actually decorating, so that would be why we build the farm first. Certainly the doorway is not going to be a problem. I can... So that that area that I've already sort of shaped out is never going to... not, not going to have to change at all. It's just the shape of this room that we need to locked down by figuring out the actual uh, shape of the machine and I'm thinking so I'd originally been plotting uh, using um, stone for the machine uh, structure blocks I'm thinking of changing that over to copper actually having it as a large-scale copper-based structure. Which might work quite nicely for the design. Uh, yeah. Turn it into a copper-based structure. Bring in some interesting colours with Deep Slate, perhaps. Oh no, the Deep Slate is going to be involved again. And actually, one thing that might be interesting is a specific colour element. 
Uh, might be coal blocks. Go for something really dark. I wonder about copper. That's a good question. Um, there's a way out. I left myself a way out. Uh, do I have... Yes. Uh, you can go into here. All of this can go into here. I'll probably end up using this at some point. Uh... Where's my oars? There it is. So I'm thinking... Uh, waxed, weathered, cut, copper, and coal. Wow, that's that's a bit more brutal as a... Um, as a colour scheme <laughs> than I was expecting. Uh, what if we use the, the the base cut copper? Now that's actually those three might work quite nicely. Those could really be an interesting uh, set of three. Use this as a sort of um, things are burnt, broken, and destroyed. And if we use the oxidized. Hmm. Hmm. Ah, uh, yeah, we can use this in the areas around where the explosions are. So it actually looks like it's been charred and sooted by the explosions. That might make that that should work quite nicely if we use that as that, um, and then we can have it sort of blending into these as the sort of frame around it. Blackstone instead of coal. Am I? Yeah. Um, I have picked up blackstone. Ah. Nicely done, Scots. Um, that was not my finest movement. Uh, since my inventory is currently quite empty, let's bring these with me. What are you? Lighting. Yes. Might as well just transfer the entire shulker over. I think we've decided where we're next. our next set of building is going to be. Actually, I'm going to put these over on this side of the river so that it's out of the way. Because this side of the river is just going to be Cave. Yeah. Not sure if it's Cave Johnson, but... Uh, that's the blacks, so those go on the left. Those are the greys. Those are the reds. Uh, got polished black stone bricks available at the moment. Yeah, I think the black stone might work better. At, at one of these days, I will find a use for coal. Um, this is not that day. That's our core colour scheme. I think that's our core colour scheme. So I don't need that block. Box. At all. Fortunately, I appear to have a decent supply of black stone embedded into one of these chests. Yep. That's got black stone in it. Uh, torches. Why do I have a single nether warp block? Who knows? 
That must have been from when I was in the nether. Oh well, might as well put it in with the, um, the, the yeah. Oh, it was, I, I think it was one I picked up in the single block tall um, forest that I still don't know how the heck we got a single block tall forest. That's, that was really one of the most surreal construction, uh, most surreal areas I have ever encountered in the nether. That's better. Um, coal as a center, blackstone as a flower for checkered pa uh, charred patches. That might work really well, TGM. I think what we'll have to do is uh, once we've got the actual block shape for the machine, which is decidedly definitely now Tuesday's job, um, we can look at uh, texturing, colouring, and making it look pretty. Whilst preferably not breaking the redstone. I love the fact that I'm basically already setting myself up for the concept of taking a standard redstone machine and making it look incredibly pretty. Uh, this is probably a really bad idea. This is a really bad idea. And yet, and yet, it's so normal for me. Um, We'll also have to be careful, we're dealing with explosives. This is part of the course, yes, yes. I'm very well aware this is entirely normal to me. I think it's probably one of the first... <laughs> it, it, it's... yeah. This one's going to be interesting. I think I might end up um, reusing... So I had a statue design outside the Temple of the Cult of the Eye over on the other side of the river. That might be what we have as our uh, donation point for where the, red, the bone meal gets entered into the system. I'm wondering if I... Yeah, I have made a mistake. I have made a tactical error. That's fine. It's fixable. I need space immediately after uh, before the. I need space for the offering point before we get to the machine. Uh, one, two, three. Uh, I'm not entirely sure which error you think I've made yet, Tor. <laughs> uh, which is slightly worrying. So I need to move this entire uh, central zone. Prettifying roadstone. Oh, that's 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 just standard practice for me. Uh, that will probably result in many errors where we have so much fun working out how I've broken the redstone. But, uh, yes, right. 
one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Question. Have I got this as 15 by 15? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Ah. No, I, I think that works. That works. Also, I guess that as a result of all of this building, we're going to end up uh, releasing the chicken from its trap uh, from its water torture. No, nope, for the moment, we're just going to leave that being waterboarded. Um, if in doubt, waterboard a chicken. How you waterboard, well, quite why you waterboard a chicken is a different question. Hey, decent amount of lapis. Wonder if we can introduce that as a, uh, as a Ooh, lapis as a highlight block. No, lapis as a high uh, lapis as a block in the pillars at the front might be interesting. So where we're going to be using uh, copper as the color for the actual machine, having lapis as the colour for the build, uh, for the front entrance. Lapis or... Uh, mm, actually, it might be... Um, might be we go back to nether brick. Because uh, we've been using that as the colour for the ancient stuff in this city and retaining that link back to everything else might actually work quite nicely is this my fourth layer down? yes it is that's good this is roughly where we're going to have everything coming out of the machine. Welcome to the machine. All I have to say is if it starts producing numbers, we're in trouble. not want this machine to start producing numbers. Thank you very much. Doesn't matter if they're relevant or irrelevant. Just don't... Okay. Where's my... Where am I? <laughs> Here. So I'm looking at this wall as yeah here yeah. I think it's raining I know it's raining in the real world it hasn't stopped raining all day it's been horrible right 
That gets me down. Yeah, I'm going to have to rescue this chicken. And by rescue, I mean murder. So, the machine will be here. We'll have a statue in these four block, five blocks space of depth to which you give your offerings of bone meal to trigger the machine and set it running and that tr that offering of bone meal gets you back the nether stems and anything else that gets generated by this machine i think it does um the leaves and the um yeah whatever uh let's have a look where are we in space so it would be we come to this is our pathway Plenty of space for making the way down look pretty. If anything, we've got it. We can probably make those significantly longer. Rather than having a one in a one block drop every three, we can probably drop by one block like every million and a half. Um, it'll be an interesting thing to see. by how much of this is dirt makes me worried that I'm going to find something under here. It's been almost 10 minutes since I dug too deep and found a huge cavern. Let's uh, do a quick bit of uh, geofizz. Nope, we're safe. Ish. Flooded tunnel, which is outside of scope. That's all right then. Quick little bit of geofizz for some mining surveys. think that uh, it made sense to check what you're about to dig into. to dig out that hole. Yes, it makes perfect sense. Um, we can bring in some of the uh, soul flame as yeah uh, as um, uh, I'm going to need another chest. I mean the advantage of digging out all of this material is it gives me material for building the walls back up when we start when I start building a cavern around all of this. Um, but holy he uh, no, not you. No bed mining in this dimension. Correct, thankfully. Uh, which one of these is my ore's chest? I'm very glad that there's no bed mining in this dimension. Uh, what I will do is rescue this chicken. has been rescued. 
It was delicious. <laughs> um. Not entirely convinced that that was an appropriate response, but oh uh, well. <laughs> in some of this a little. I'll probably end up digging some of this back out again, but we will see. Right. Where did I take this to on the other side? Uh, one less than that. There. us a nice walkway down and round the machine itself. To the point where we will be collecting materials. And we can really go to town with some of the nice uh, prettification of all of this. The other option is we could go completely over the top and build another bone meal farm and hook it straight up to this machine so that the bone meal farm is immediately feeding in and you just switch it on and all you get out is the red uh, the, the nether stems. But I think that would need a much, much bigger area for that. I mean, that machine in its own right is not small. Right, so. Yeah, I like that. That, that has a nice possibility to it. How much netherwood do I really anticipate needing? Um, have you met me? <laughs> uh, the, the answer is about to be yes. I have two other builds in mind, uh, which I am expecting will be in the very near, f uh, in the future, after the city. After the Caldera, I have a city that is going to need them a lot. It's under the heading of, look at how much um, dark oak I get through at times, and then multiply that by um, the, 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 the nether woods. Thinking that for the the Gordon Fortress, the the crimson stem will be a perfect highlighting colour next to the dark oak, for example. 
<laughs> and we both know that's not going to be a small build. So only in limited amounts until mid-2025. Uh, the Caldera City is going to be finished mm, quite a bit sooner than that, I think. That's a nice feel to the to the ramp down. That's a good shape. Also kind of um, mirrors the entrance doorway shape as well. So this has... Ooh, I could bring those pillars into these corners. So if we do that and that on those corners. Brings us down to a three wide. Am I about to make this bigger? <laughs> like that. Yeah, that that's nice. That's that that works. That works. Actually, if we realize that we've taken that out, it will be one. So that be. We could do that and that. And one. 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 be a nice shape. Ooh, yeah, I like that. That that's promising. So that gives us a pillar here that we can use to wrap around the Really? Oh, wow. Uh thank you for the hint, <laughs> Shadow. I had lost track of time. Uh, given that I started stream having no idea what I was doing, what I was planning, or even feeling like I was going to actually be able to do stream today at all, uh, I think we've done quite well to manage to keep this going today. I very nearly, uh, I, I very nearly aborted stream. I was not feeling mentally in the right place for it uh, because I had. Absolutely, I, I was very lost mentally um, just before this, and so that's part of the reason why the first sort of hour of stream was very, very um, unfocused, <laughs> to say the least. Um, do, 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 do. Oh, those are way bigger than these. That might not be the right shape of pillar. Eh, we can work with it. We can work with it. Although, if we put that and that there, we could then actually have that line up to that, and that's not a problem. That, ooh, that works nicely now. And then we do that and that and one here. And we could probably yeah, that 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 gives us a bit more shape into this area. Mindless time sink is sometimes needed. Oh very much so. Uh as I say, today definitely needed it. Yes. 
Yes, you are. Excellent. Yes. Yes, yes. Yes, yes, yes. I like it. I can do something with this. I could have fun with this. And then we do the same here. And inset pillar. Yeah. Ooh, I can have fun with this. <laughs> I think we're going to have some very... I think this build is going to be quite, quite interesting. The question is, is it going to be a Cult of the Eye temple? Or is this going to be something else? Do we think the Cult of the Eye would have been the ones in control of this? Because that might be what we use to determine the... Uh, the. Actually, yes, if we're going to reuse the uh, statue from outside the Cult of the Temple of the Eye... Yes, it is based on nether stuff. Cult of the Eye... I think it might be a bit of both, Tor. Maybe they built up a temple around an ancient... Um, uh, ancient... Blah, 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 uh, around an ancient machine that they now own and control. I, I really need a machine in this place to be able to actually work out what the rest of this looks like. Uh, so, I think think oh good yep yeah. yep yeah. yep yeah. we are at pretty's mode um which is there's there's not a huge amount for pretty's mode uh except for holy heck there is actually quite a bit of um shaping already in this this is going to be interesting when it comes into suddenly existing as a building. Cult of the Eye pulled a gold on the device that's a Gawarl ripoff. You know what, Cyber? Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh. Are we, um, just heading. Uh, are we just heading this in the direction of being completely ridiculous. Answers on a postcard. Um, so, I, I think we have um, the beginnings of a plan. God help us, we're all doomed. Don't we always? Yes. Um, ah, nope. There's a ceiling there. You're all speaking Greek nerd to me. Ah, hey, Jen. Uh, we're kind of sort of taking the mick out of Stargate, which is why it starts... Um, yeah, that that's where the nerd is. The answer is almost certainly temporarily dead. <laughs> Either way, this is going to be one heck of an interesting... Uh, temple embedded into the caldera. I have no idea why it's embedded into the caldera, but we've got other things. We're, we're really going with um, oh look, we've got an interesting caldera. How about we build something inside of it? Um, see also at some point we really need to, I really need to uh, decorate and uh, finish our chessboard. <laughs> Because chessboard. What? Why am I building a chessboard? Oh yeah, because. <laughs> oh yes, you might not have seen this, Jen. Uh, this is um, th this is one of our other um, areas hidden under the caldera. 
This one has absolutely no reason existing other than I felt like building a chessboard. Um, it will have all of uh, the llama um, color-coded and named, and it will have all the sheep color-coded and named to become the pieces of a chess set. Shouldn't have any lore and just be pure Easter egg. Oh, I, I, Cyber, that is absolutely the case. There will, there, there is no law behind the chess set. It just exists. <laughs> it's going to have a beautiful building around it, though, at some point. Oh dear. And on that madness. Um. And on that madness. Um, I would like to say thank you to everyone for joining me this uh, this evening um, and this week. And yeah, um, <laughs> today got a little bit surreal. Um, go figure. Um, TNT, do you pretend footprint looks suspicious? Uh, we will get to that, Cyber. <laughs> um... Hopefully it doesn't by the time it's finished. Um, either way, uh, we have reached the end of the week. It is Friday, and uh, I will be back again on Monday where we will have a Caldera creation stream. Uh, probably the southwest corner where we were building all of the trees um, because of that. Uh, and there is a possibility, if all of the stars align, uh, on Sunday that we will have a We Were Here Together stream with Raven, uh, also known as Miscommunication, the stream. Uh, we, will, uh, we, we will continue to fail to talk properly and be able to understand each other and we'll probably have some very interesting and unusual derps. <laughs> hopefully so. <laughs> hopefully you won't fall out of it. Um, hopefully. Um, I will post in Discord and on uh, Twitter uh, before that happens. Either way, I hope everyone has a good weekend and a relaxing one as well and uh, yes I will look forward to seeing you all next time bye bye